How's it going, folks? Well, my crazy downstairs neighbor moved out today. So, it occurs to me I can do, um, I don't have to be quite as mindful of the noise. There's not a lot to drink to in Chapter 40 of Alma. There's a few drinks. This is just uh, between drinks uh, entertainment. Let's read the masthead. Let's see if I remember right. Yeah, he's still Alma Jr. is still bitching out Corianton, his son, for being fond of harlots <laughs> and not wanting to be a priest. <laughs> Alma to Corianton continued. Resurrection Universal. Separate states of religious and wicked between death and resurrection. A literal restoration. Hmm. All right, so that's what chapter 40 is about. Verse 1. Now, my son, here is somewhat more I would say unto thee. For I perceive that thy mind is worried concerning the resurrection of the dead. I swear it's it's amazing I get any sleep at all. <laughs> Think about it so much. Just kidding. Yeah, his mind's troubled about that. Sounds like he's more concerned with Poontang. Oh. Very nice. Not bad. <clears throat> Two. Behold, I say unto you, that there is no resurrection. Or, I would say, in other words, how about these? Uh, that this mortal does not put on immortality. This corruption does not put on incorruption until after the coming of Christ. Sounds a lot like Paul. Three. Behold, he bringeth to pass. I'll drink to that. Didn't even notice that one. It's not even highlighted. Bringeth to pass. It counts. So that's like about four of these bad boys. I might be in trouble. To being brought to pass. Out. Uh, wow. Behold, he bringeth to pass the resurrection of the dead. But, behold, my son, the resurrection is not yet. Now I unfold unto you a mystery. Nevertheless, there are many mysteries which are kept that no one knoweth them save God himself. And he's not telling. But I show unto you one thing which I have inquired diligently of God that I might know that is concerning the resurrection. For, behold, there is a time appointed that all shall come forth from the dead. Now, when this time cometh, no one knows. Not even Harold Camping. <laughs> but God knoweth the time which is appointed. Mm, ambrosial. Five. Now, whether there shall be one time or a second time or a third time, I think they like things coming into threes, uh, 
that men shall come forth. But not a fourth time. <laughs> uh, from the dead. They shall come forth from the dead. It mattereth not. Uh, for God knoweth all these things. And it suffice, sufficeth me to know that this is the case. That there is a time appointed that all shall rise from the dead. Even fictional characters appearing in this book, apparently. <laughs> Six. Now, there must needs be a space betwixt the time of death and the time of resurrection. Seven. And now, I would inquire what becometh of the souls of men from the time of death to the time appointed to the resurrection? Oh, that was a question. All right. And now, I would inquire what becometh of the souls of men from the time of death to the time appointed for resurrection? See, it was a question. Just didn't read like one, but it must be. It's got a question mark at the end. <laughs> Eight. Now, whether there is more than one time appointed for men to rise, it mattereth not. For all do not die all at once. Yeah, genius. <laughs> all do not die at once. And this mattereth not. I mean, well, yeah, you could say the same thing about the dinosaurs. They didn't all die at the same time. <laughs> but apparently, whole bunches of them died. <laughs> Just not all of them at the same time. <laughs> Thanks for stating the obvious. <laughs> And this mattereth not. Yeah. All is as a day with God. And time is measured unto men. Nine. Therefore, there is a time appointed unto men that they shall rise from the dead. And there is a space between the time of death and the resurrection. And now, concerning this space of time, what becometh of the souls of men is the thing which I have inquired diligently of the Lord to know. And this is the thing of which I do know. Ten. And when the time cometh when all shall rise, then shall they know that God knoweth all the times which are appointed unto men. Eleven. Now, concerning the state of the souls, the soul between death and resurrection, behold, it has been made known unto me by an angel that the spirits of all men, as soon as they are departed from the mortal body, yea, the spirits of all men, whether they be good or evil, are taken home to that God who gave them life. Twelve. <sighs> to uh, departed crazy downstairs neighbors. Still gonna miss her. She was kind of nice. Interesting. Twelve. And then shall it come to pass that the spirits of those who are righteous are received into a state of happiness, which is called paradise, a state of rest, a state of peace, 
where they shall rest from all their troubles and all care and sorrow. Thirteen. And then shall it come to pass like a backhanded it came to pass. <sighs> Maybe this isn't such a good idea. And then shall it come to pass that the spirits of the wicked, yea, who are evil, for behold, they have no part nor portion of the Spirit of the Lord, for behold, they choose evil works rather than good. Therefore, the spirit of the devil did enter into them and take possession of their house. Yeah, yeah. And these shall be cast out into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. Sound familiar? And this because of their own iniquity. Written in about BC 73. And I'm not even a southpaw. <laughs> Being led captive by the will of the devil. Ooh, scary. 14. Now. This is the state of the souls of the wicked. Yea, <laughs> in darkness and a state of awful, fearful looking for the fiery indignation of the wrath of God upon them. Thus they remain in this state as well as the righteous in paradise until the time of their resurrection. Fifteen. Hang on. Uh. Now, there are some that have understood that this state of happiness and this state of misery of the soul, being the resurrection, was first was a first resurrection. Yea, I admit it may be termed a resurrection. The raising of the spirit or the soul and their consignation to happiness or misery <clears throat> according to the words which have been spoken. Sixteen. And behold, again it hath been spoken that there is a first resurrection, a resurrection of all those who have been, or who are, or, or who shall be, down to the resurrection of Christ from the dead. And he hasn't even born yet for another 73 years. About. But they got his funeral and resurrection all planned out in advance. Nice welcome into the world, baby Jesus. Hurry up and die! You, you, little lamb, you. I could go for some mutton right about now myself. <coughs> mm. Nineteen. <coughs> Now, whether the souls and the bodies 
Of those of whom have been spoken shall be reunited at once. The wicked, as well as the righteous, I do not say. Say, but it kind of rules out reincarnation, doesn't it? And... <coughs> Damn! Let it suffice that I have, wait, that I say that they all come forth. Or, in other words, their resurrection cometh to pass. God damn. What's coming to pass is... Kentucky Sour Mash, maybe. Ugh. Excuse me. Cometh to pass before the resurrection of those who die after the resurrection of Christ. Twenty. Now, my son. Sorry, felt one coming on. Damn it. Mm. 20. And now, now, my son, I do not say that their resurrection cometh at the resurrection of Christ, but behold, I give it as my opinion. That the souls and the bodies are reunited of the righteous at the resurrection of Christ. Who hasn't even been born yet? <clears throat> As a matter of fact, his parents haven't even been born yet. And his ascension into heaven. 21. But whether it be at his resurrection or after I do not say but this much I say that there is a space between death and the resurrection of the body yeah so it's one big waiting room and you're either happy or you're, or you're shitting forever going God, man, it's all true, and I'm fucked! <laughs> Where am I? Twenty-two, that's where I am. Yay! This bringeth about the restoration of those things of which has been spoken by the mouths of the prophets. That's it for twenty-two. Twenty-three, the soul shall be restored to the body, and the body to the soul. Yay! And every limb and joint shall be restored to its body. Even cremated folks are just going <laughs> to reconstitute.
Oh. Yay. Even a hair of the head shall not be lost. Too late, Fiat. <laughs> I've had a few lost. Oh, well. I like hats anyway. <laughs> but all things shall be restored to their proper and perfect frame. So I don't have to, like, restore every cell I've ever shed, I hope, because, you know, I mean, <clears throat> you know, we've shed so much material throughout our life. We gain new shit. Yeah, new material, new matter, new whatever. I mean, you gain it all back, you're going to be fucked. So, yeah, perfect frame. We'll just, like, stamp it. That's when he was his best. That's when she was her hottest. And if you never were hot or best, <laughs> what the hell, it's fantasy land. You know, you're fucking awesome now. Forever. Really? Really? 24. And now, my son, this is the restoration of which has been spoken by the mouths of the prophets, which is a repeat of verse 22. I'm not that drunk. I'm not as thick as you drunk I am, officer. 25 at first. And then shall the righteous shine forth in the kingdom of God. That was worthy of a fucking verse. On gold! Wow. Alma 4025. It's a bumper sticker, goddammit! And just as in seven. 26. But behold, an awful death cometh upon the wicked. Your death is going to suck, dudes and dudesses. For they die as to things pertaining to things of righteousness. No. <laughs> righteousness. You mean I don't get to be self-righteous? For they are unclean. I took a shower. I don't remember when. I'm just kidding. I took one this morning. <laughs> and, no, and no unclean thing can inherit the kingdom of God. But they are cast out and consigned to partake of the fruits of their labors. Well, what if they didn't believe in God and just did a lot of nice stuff? Didn't think of that, huh? Yeah, what if you're a nice person and you still don't believe in God? Which have been evil. Alright, some evil shit, huh? Well, you, you're keeping records. I'm sure you'll find some. I guess. They drink the drags of a bitter cup. And that was a lot of fucking fun. So anyway, he's still uh, bitching out Coriantum, I guess. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do another one after this. So I hope you watch it. If not, peace. The fuck. Have a wonderful, whatever the fuck it is you're having, and I mean it.